What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to a nice bright blue sky day in Los Angeles. I'm being joined by Parker from Vehicle Virgins. What's up? Because, wow, what, what a day have we got. It's, it's gonna be a sick day. This is gonna be a sick day because I'm driving the M4 Competition Cabriolet back to LAX to pick up another Churro car and then we're heading down to PFS, Protective Film Solutions, yep. because something huge is happening, something huge in the automotive world on YouTube, but just in the world in general. Because... <laughs> what does that mean? For the first time ever, you've wrapped your Hurricane. And you're making it that big of a deal. It is a huge deal. We're heading down to Protective Film Solutions. They've got this huge open day. There are going to be hypercars and supercars galore. I feel like this is going to be the best video if you want to see the California car scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. They're bringing all of the artillery out. The cars you're about to see are, are things like, you could only see this in a Forza garage. <laughs> Not like, actually, yeah. you go to a car meet and there's that, that cornerstone car. Someone yeah, showed yeah. up in a Bugatti. Yeah. But here, I, I, I want to find out what we think is the coolest car at the show because that's an impossible question. Okay, well that is a question we're going to answer by the end of this video. Let's do it. But I want to touch upon your Hurricane because you've owned it for two years now? Oh man, I think longer maybe, than that. Maybe longer. How many miles have you done in it now? 27,000. 27,000 miles in a yeah. supercharged Hurricane. Yeah. And it's not broken once? No. Not a single time, dude. And how many miles have you done in your Speciale Perth? Yeah, yeah. So that car, uh, you know, I've done a handful of miles, a handful of Mini 800, and maybe broken twice <laughs> already. I love the Huracan. It means so much to me. I'm never selling that car. Uh, I've, of course, obliterated the value uh, <laughs> with the miles. But regardless of that, it, it's such a good car. It, it was with me for a big growth spurt in the channel and it just handles well, it's super fast and it doesn't break. Yeah. So I wanna keep it and I've loved it in its green form because that's what I wanted. You know how you wanted a certain color Murcielago? Yep. Well, I wanted a certain color, certain interior spec Huracan and thankfully I was able to find one more easily than finding a Grigio <laughs> Telesto Murcielago. That's, yeah. a, that's a bigger challenge. So I put my thinking cap on which uh, was actually just my hair because I don't really wear hats. Um, and thought, what means something to me? What will look cool and what will mean something to the channel? Yeah. Essentially, I got a design from one of my favorite rock bands of all time. I have not had this car long, but it is time to change cars. To that red one, not the black Lambo. I wish I did, but this is the Chiro Airport. I mean, how it's a ridiculous ridic parking lot, bro. Yeah, there's a Lambo there. There's a couple of Mustangs. I'm there's two sure. my box last night. Like, yeah. what? This is where we picked up the M4. For this has been brilliant, but I had to cut the rental short because I'm hiring that Porsche Macan GTS for two days so that I could drop it back here because it's right by the airport. So uh, yeah, I'm going to drop that back off as I'm flying home. Goodbye M4. Check this out, the Macan GTS, a car that I've never driven. I've had very limited access to driving Porsche, but this car has always interested me because I believe that Porsche should create a hot hatch. And if you were to slam this, it's gonna be the closest thing that you're gonna get to a hot hatch. And yes, I know I come up with crazy ideas, but it's something that I've thought about for quite a long time, actually. If you put big wheels on this, lower it, you're gonna have a Porsche hot hatch. What's not cool about that? Um, shut up. We've made it down to PFS, the McCann GTS behind, 20 miles down here, and I'm actually kind of in love with it. It's actually really, really cool. Wasn't expecting that, especially after what I said about me not liking SUVs at the Rolls Royce drive. Anyway, there are going to be some insane cars turning up. There are already cars inside PFS that are hypercar level, but there are some famous cars here. There are some interesting people here. And so for the next 10 minutes, this vlog is going to get insanely crazy of some of the best cars that California has to offer. Here we have a prime example of UK versus US in terms of modifications. We've got UK in the middle of another US. I mean, this M3, I don't even think it is an M3. 
The exhaust tips would tell me otherwise, but it is lowered, it's on air. We've got a stock, beautifully clean R8 V10 Spider there, but we've got a 580-2, which is so good to see these cars. They look incredible. But when they're parked up against the next something like this, we have a twin turbo with a crazy exhaust exit down there going on. Check out some of the features on this engine bay. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen a Hurricane engine bay like it. We've got a full Vorsteiner kit as well. These amazing Vorsteiner wheels. There's the Instagram handle for the guy that owns it. I'll tell you what, this guy has turned it into a monster. Check this out. Oh, it's next to a GC2 RS as well. These two cars have turned up. Is that Voodoo Blue? Might be Voodoo Blue GT3 and a GT2 RS. I think they're making space for one more car. That is so cool. If that was in a 458 without the turbos, that's a bit of me. The difference between a Californian car show and something in the UK, especially in the month of October, is we've got a Caribbean fusion food, street food truck here. On the other side, we've got like a grill thing here. Palm trees blowing in the wind with supercars rolling in. This atmosphere is just incredible. I'm in shorts and t-shirt. Yeah, I'll show you the whole outfit. Yeah, sliders and socks. I didn't think that I was actually coming to a car event now. Um, so Parker stitched me up a little bit. <laughs> but once all of the cars roll in, myself and Parker are gonna get into the main PFS building where hypercars are on display. This thing is nuts. There is now a queue to get in. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to show you this because I don't, I'm, I've just walked around the back because I've asked to go in and have a look at some of the cars. But this is the queue. This is the queue to go in and have a look. Concrete, baby, I'm from New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. That's hands down the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It's like Parker's having a meet and greet in there. I'm gonna try and get in. We've made it inside, and this is the moment where we try and pick the favorite car. From... Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? I thought, I've I, I thought it looked sunglasses. slightly cooler. There are so many people in here. Yeah, you're doing a way cooler actually. Oh, here. thank you. All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's so go. we are going to uh, flip the camera around and flip the microphone around. I think it's better to do a point of view because there are... Nice. It's always better to do a point of view. There are a lot of people in here, so it's better that we show you guys the cars and stop filming our ugly faces. Right, here we go. Let's start here. Not bad, not bad. This is yellow chrome rather than gold chrome, right? You know, after a lot of vitamin C, I have something that looks quite like <laughs> But then we have this, a satin white Veyron Grand Sport. Red and white interior, white wheels. This is pretty, you like that one? I mean, it wouldn't be my personal favorite, but if I was, you know. Between the two? After, Between down. the two, you'd have the white, right? The white one, for sure. What about this? This is like a Law Blanc. I think I would take this over that. Yep, yeah, me too. What about the, oh wow, there's two Chirons. Now this is the car that recently was used to pass a young lad's driving test. It was. So this car <laughs> was actually driven by someone who needed to pass their driving test in yeah, the that's, US. Yeah, that's what, you know, when I passed my driving test, I did that. Yeah. I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> and then we've got more of a, I would say a classy spec on this Chiron. We've got blue, silver with a quilted interior. This is really nice. And then there's two Koenig's eggs here. This is proper old school. And then we've got an Agera as well. So. This side, oh, there's another Agera over there. That looks quite good. <laughs> we've got five Bugattis lined up here and we've got Parker doing a bit of a vlog. And then on the other corner, wow. Check out, these are more special. These are sick. These, this one I think is the one that I'd have. I reckon, I might actually take this one over the Chiron. I would. You would? I would. I'd take that over the Chiron though. Would you take this over the Koenigsegg? Yep. Really? Yep. Why is that? 
Sounds better. Does sound pretty good. Does sound pretty good. Wire BC. It sounds better, but it doesn't sound as good as a Zonda. And then there's another Wyra BC over there in like a satin white. This is the Wyra Roadster that we've already filmed. But check out this as well. This is the dream spec. It is satin white, bare carbon. Check out that interior. I think we have found a winner. I would have this over all of the other cars that are in here. And yeah, I'm missing out the Vision GT and the P1 GTR over there. I found the car. That's Which it. That's this is, it right this, there? Yeah, this is the one that I'd have. Before I jump back in the Macan GTS, I'm just going to take a step back and show you how ridiculous this atmosphere is, how cool the community is. Live music, and I mean, there are thousands of people here because the queue is still going out the door, trying to get inside, and supercars now lining the street and this is all for charity PFS are doing this all for charity so everyone that is coming in and parking their supercars up here are paying donations so it's all for an amazing cause the police are at both ends everything is really well under controlled everyone is behaving impeccably this is this is this is this is what LA is all about This mobile detailing is genius. There's a bloody 812 there. Nismo GTR in the queue. That 458 has just been cleaned. What a boss. Turning up and earning money on a Saturday. Hurricane, black hurricane, slammed hurricane. Look at those wheels. That is insane. Let's see what else we've got up here because there's some more cars turning up. Got a matte black, four squared. <gasps> all blacked out Carrera GT I'm gonna get a little bit closer on this beast that is not bad neither is this McLaren There's some seriously cool cars here but this one is my favorite